What advice would you give a 12 year old boy or girl about life in general? Mm. Well, you know, 12 years old, I don't know how, depending on where they're at in life, is how they're going to receive what I would tell them. Um, but I would let them know that Jesus loves them. Uh -huh. I would I would let them know that respecting your parents, um, you find favor with God when you do that. He's pleased with you when you uh, show respect and honor to your parents. I would let them know that they have a future, a bright future, and the best way to find out what that future is is to one. Mm -hmm live clean, stay away from trouble, um, two, to be active um, in their church because that's going to help them and, and shape them in a church where they can grow as a young boy or young girl, and um, three, I just tell them that, you know, the best thing that they can do as far as uh, being successful is, is to stay away from what they feel in their heart is negative. You know, God has given us a conscience and we know what's right and what's wrong. And so if they feel something is wrong, it's best that they should stay away from that. All right. Um, I know you're a father like myself. Um, how many children do you have? Two. So, how old are they? Um, Four and two. I know, you know, you got a great big heart and responsibility. Um, what is it like being a father? Uh, it's amazing, you know, I get to be there for my kids. Um, you know, nothing against my dad, you know, but he wasn't in my life. So I get to be there to shape my, and, and I have a privilege to have sons, so I get to be there to shape them and mold them as boys growing into young men, into men. Um, I'm there, you know, to uh, provide for them. I love playing with them. Mm -hmm. um, they're like sponges. So, you know, it's cool that they say they want to be like me. They want to be, you know, a preacher or they want to be, you know, a landscaper, you know, just things that they watch. And um, ultimately, I realized the love of God because as a father, you see how you do give correction, mm -hmm. you give guidance, but at the same time, there's a balance uh, and you love them no matter what, they're still your kid, mm -hmm. and but at the same time, you want to make sure that they understand life, and mm -hmm. so sometimes that comes with discipline, and I, that's like a revelation of God. He's our Heavenly Father, so, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of cool, too, you know, get to understand that. All right. I know you mentioned you, you that um, your father wasn't around. Mm -hmm. Did you have, like, a, um, a, a male role model or a father figure that you uh, to, or was it? It was like, like all the rappers on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a lot of them. A mixture. A mixture. Uh, yeah, my you. role models was... was, was rappers and mm -hmm. dudes in the street, you know, mm -hmm. hanging out with it and stuff like that, you know. All right, all right. Um, what is important, what, what is the importance of fatherhood to you? Mm. The importance of fatherhood to me is that my kids see me living clean and honest mm -hmm. because, you know, as they get older, they're going to reference their life off of me. And, uh, you know, I hope that I can be the best example for them.